Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're doing a full face of Charlotte Tilbury. A couple weeks ago, Charlotte Tilbury sent me a beautiful uh, PR package, but I also have a lot of products from the brand myself. So we're gonna go ahead and do a full face. I'm gonna start with some skincare and then we'll move into makeup. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. This morning I said, winter be damned, I'm having an iced coffee anyway. So if you're not aware, I have an online beauty consulting service. This is where you and I chat one-on-one -on -one and you get to ask me your personal makeup and beauty questions because you don't have to share me with 20,000 people. So if you have questions about maybe building a makeup kit or maybe you have one already and something isn't quite working, those are perfect reasons to book a session. So if you wanna make an appointment for yourself or if you wanna ask for one for a gift for the holiday season, go ahead and click the link down below. So let's go ahead and start with the Charlotte's Magic Serum Crystal Elixir here. Now I haven't tried this yet, but someone in the comment section in the video or I think on my Instagram post said that this is their Holy Grail Serum. So this has niacinamide, it has vitamin C, it has hyaluronic acid as well, and it has a milky texture. So this is what it looks like. You can see it's fluid and milky. It doesn't really have much of a scent. There is a scent in the sense that it smells like a cosmetic, but it doesn't smell like perfume or anything like that. It feels nice. I feel like it's just going into the skin very quickly. And it's supposed to give you like instantly youthful skin. I'm adding a bit more because my skin just drank this up instantly. So. Basically, it's supposed to make your skin look brighter, hydrated, and look more youthful immediately. I think that the texture is really nice. It's not that sticky. I feel like right now it feels a bit sticky because it's still just sort of going into my skin. But yeah, the scent reminds me of like a spa or something. And it does feel very moisturizing and very hydrating. Like when I put it on like the first pump or the first squeeze, I feel like my skin just like drank it up instantly so it does look nice obviously i do look very radiant right now because i just added a moisture moisturizer a serum but yeah i i do think that this does look very luminous like i do think that this added quite a bit of radiance to my complexion so let's keep going now i also have the magic eye rescue this is supposed to be an eye cream that brightens reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles so it has quite a name and it has the word magic in it this is what it looks like in the jar it is glass and this is refillable which is nice let me just go ahead and take a little bit that is way too much for my eyes today but i just wanted to show you the texture here this is meant to be brightening smoothing and what else hydrating at the same time it does feel nice it feels like a very similar texture to an eye cream. You know how some eye creams feel a bit rich? I, I do think that this feels rich. It feels nice. My under eye does look very radiant, very glowy, very plump, and very moisturized. I don't know if it's the most brightening, color correcting item that I've ever tried, but I do think it's very hydrating. And I don't think you can look at this and not see the level of hydration and plumpness added to the under eye, which is nice. So last step here is going to be the Charlotte's Magic Moisturizer or Magic Cream. So this looks matching to the eye cream here. It's basically the same format, but for face here. And the, the Magic Cream for the face, this one here is also refillable. This is what it looks like in the jar. It's quite interesting because it looks like it's whipped or something into place. And this is supposed to be like instantly moisturizing, instantly plumping. It says it's an instant turnaround moisturizer for hydrated, glowing, plumper looking skin. Okay, let's go ahead and try this out. This is the texture here. It definitely feels a little bit on the thicker side as a moisturizer. It doesn't feel like a gel or anything like that. It definitely feels like a thicker, a thicker moisturizer. I'm not really noticing any scent or any fragrance whatsoever with this one here. 
The moisturizer feels very nice. If you have dry skin, dehydrated skin, mature skin, or if you're just looking for something heavier for the winter months, I think you would enjoy it. When you apply it, it does melt into the skin very quickly. You know, sometimes with a thicker moisturizer, you feel like you have to really massage it in. This one just sort of went into the skin very quickly. I do think that my skin looks very radiant, very healthy, very glowy. I look plump. I don't know if it's the moisturizer or the serum. I don't know. I, I'm actually quite impressed with the serum, just as like a first impressions. I just think that it did a really nice job. I just see lots of glow and radiance. And yeah, I think I really like the serum and the magic cream for the face. I think the eye cream is nice, but I think these two are just really nice. I'm just looking at myself. I'm like, look at how radiant I look. Really nice. Okay, let's move on to makeup. Okay, so for the eyeshadow here, I have the walk of no shame a luxury palette here so i was thinking maybe like the burgundy pink colors at first i was sort of inspired by my shirt to try to match it but i don't know i think i'm gonna go ahead and mix some of these colors together and see what happens every brush that i'm using today and the products are all listed in the description box so if you're curious about what i'm using please go ahead and check that out What's interesting is I find that this palette here, I've been playing with it off camera, I find that the shadows look a bit different on me than in the palette. Like at first I thought this would be like more purplish, like a grape Merlot color. But as you can see, this one here almost looks more like this one on top for some reason. And then I'm taking it up just a little bit higher just to sort of blow out the color all over the lid. Now just taking a pencil brush I'm gonna go ahead and just take some of that same color from before and sweep it under here. There is definitely lots of fallout with this color here. So I'm gonna wait and then when I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up. Now I'm going into this color here. This one has like a different finish. It's a little bit more coppery and a bit more shiny. It has a bit more gold in it. So I'm just taking some of that, sweeping it here. And taking the other side of the same brush, I'm going into this color here. It's a bit lighter. And I'm just placing it on the inner part here. Okay, so the fallout is just driving me insane. I need to clean it up. I'm gonna go ahead and take my magic eye cream here and just take a little bit on the lid and a Q-tip here, just like a little bit, just like this. And I'm going to clean this up because it's just driving me insane. Now I'm going into a bit of eyeliner. This is the Exaggerate Eyes Duo Liner. And I have the one that's matte and champagne, but this is like a dark brown or a black up top here. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line on top, maybe tight line and do a little bit on the bottom lashes as well. I could use the champagne side here to go into the bottom waterline, but I feel like I prefer this on like a very light neutral eye and I'm not really feeling it for today's look. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip that part. Now I picked up this Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes Mascara in black. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of this now. I like the mascara, I just wish it had more volume. For something called like fat lashes, I thought it would be a bit more. I don't know. Maybe I'm just ruined because I've tried some great mascaras. Like it's not bad. I just think it could be more dramatic and more voluminous personally. I think that mascara is one of those items that's so personal. Like you can have two people who have almost the exact same taste in everything except for mascara. For some reason, mascara is the one item that we can all agree to disagree on. Isn't that so funny? I, I think also mascara preferences also lies heavily on your natural hair texture because I pers I have like wavy curly hair and so I don't look for mascaras that will enhance the curl of my lashes because that isn't something that I look for. But some people that's like the, you know, make it or break it 
component of a mascara and for me it's more just about volume and density for the complexion i'm going to go ahead and keep it super light and simple i'm going into my uh, hollywood flawless filter this is 4.5 you can use this as a liquid highlighter you could use this as a primer honestly i do find that it offers enough blurring for me that i kind of just use it as a one and done the shade 4.5 has a little bit of warmth to it so it just you know gives me a little bit of a golden glow and just makes me look really healthy and luminous and gorgeous now for the concealer i do have the new charlotte tilbury concealer here i bought this a couple weeks ago this is the beautiful skin radiant concealer so i bought the shade 4.5 because it's like in the fair to medium but i was kind of hoping it would be more peachy i do love when a concealer has like a bit of like a peach or a rosiness to it so i'm just gonna go ahead and use this one today i've been meaning to review it time has just been like evaporating out of thin air so i thought i may as well talk about it today in my full face of charlotte tilbury i meant to review this concealer earlier but then yeah like i said life happened and then the new chanel concealer came out so that sort of you know took over i do think that it is a nice concealer it's just i don't think it's as amazing as the chanel one but also it's a lot more affordable than the chanel concealer like this one here offers a nice coverage it has a better shade range than the chanel sublimage concealer that's for sure i do think that the claims of it being a light to medium coverage are true you can build this up so it is nice it does brighten a little bit i just wish i had gotten a shade that was like a bit more rosy or peachy personally like again we all have like our personal taste but i think i'm gonna go ahead and add just a little touch more because for some reason i have one side of my face that always looks like i have more bags on this side here reasons genetics i don't know why it does brighten and correct and it does feel hydrating it doesn't look like crepey or cakey and i don't think it creases much either so there we go i still have like a little bit here that i would like to correct but you know what perfection does not exist so let's go ahead and move on for the face powder i'm going to go ahead and go the unconventional route here i have the instant look of love pretty blushed beauty palette i think this came out last year and this one comes with a face powder from charlotte tilbury this is charlotte tilbury here the face and eye palette so i'm going to go ahead and just use this face powder here Just gonna take it a little bit everywhere where i get a little bit more oily and i'm gonna go ahead and put some under my eyes too i don't think it needs a setting powder it's just while i'm applying powder on the rest of my face i may as well now for the bronzer i have my contour wand i have the fair medium so this is the lighter option i think there's only two of this so you just pop this off you twist it otherwise product will come out and then you squeeze and then you get product here it's probably too much we'll see so you apply it with this and then you go into a separate brush i think when i first attempted charlotte tilbury products like her old concealer i tried to use the sponge tip applicator to blend don't do that it's a bad idea <laughs> But yeah, I like how quick and seamless this is. Like this just looks really beautiful, really fast. And because it's like a cream liquid bronzer, it looks so natural and just melts into the skin so quickly. So when you're done, you have to close it like this to make sure product doesn't just spill out everywhere. But I think this is really nice. I think this item was sold out online for like months because it got popular on TikTok for a few weeks. But anyway, if you can get your hands on it, I do think it's a really nice, gorgeous product. And it is easy to use, but a little bit goes a long way. I went a little bit heavy handed and had to blend a little bit extra because I was like, oof, dot, dot, dot. But you know, just, you probably need less than I applied today. Now for the blush, I have two of the Beauty Light Wands. I have Peach Gasm and they sent me pink gasm so let me go ahead just do a little swatch 
Hmm, I think they're both really pretty. I kind of think, so this is Peach Gasm and this is Pink Gasm. They're both very pretty. Honestly, I think my eyeshadow look is a mixture of these two shades here. Perhaps I will go with Pink Gasm because that's new to me. That's the one that they sent to me. So I'm gonna go with Pink Gasm here. So again, this is the same format as the contour. So you twist like this, you get a bit of product like that. You apply, you apply like this, and then you use a separate brush. Technically, you could go ahead and use a highlighter afterwards, but I like these wands because they have like highlighter and blush two in one. It's very luminous and I think of it as like a one and done. So if you want to simplify your makeup, you can just use this instead of two products. Now for the lip, I'm going to go ahead and use a combination that I purchased earlier this summer that I think I wore with this top a lot, but I just really like it. It's one of the Charlotte Tilbury uh, lip cheats in Pink Venus. It's just like a really pretty coral pink and it kind of looks like your lip, but better, but a bit more pinky and it's just really nice. On top of that, I go into this Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss in Candy Darling. It's a really nice texture. It's not too greasy or slick. You know, sometimes a lip gloss sort of runs everywhere around the lips. This just stays in place. I guess I was just feeling incredibly pink today with my top and my eyeshadow and my entire face here. Let me go ahead and add my setting spray as a last final touch if I can find it. I know it's somewhere. It was right next to me. This is the Airbrush Flawless Filter Setting Spray. I love this one. I got the travel size, but they also sent me the full size one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. This really is like super glue for your makeup. It just sets everything in place, locks everything for 16 hours. You know, it's winter. I'm wearing like lots of jackets with high um, collars and scarves. And this just keeps my makeup looking pristine and beautiful. I do like this walk of no shame. It's interesting because the hues look a little bit different on me than I thought. Like I thought this was going to be more purple. It almost looks more like a pink or I don't know what this is, like sort of pink, sort of coppery, just depending on the light. It is a nice palette, it's just not exactly what I thought. I do have at least one other Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette in my collection, so let me know if you'd like me to test out more products from the brand, or if you have products from the brand that you think I should try out, maybe some like deep cuts, some classics. I know she has setting powders that people really love. Like I like the one in the face palette that I have, but I know that she has like a separate face powder and she has like that contouring powder kit where it's like a highlighting powder and like a bronzing powder. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know what I should try out next. And if you're new to my channel, please take the time to subscribe because I know a lot of you who watch me are not subscribed yet. So just go ahead and click subscribe. And on that note, that's all I have for you guys for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.